Okay, let me explain to you what World Dance Fitness Fusion is. I call it a potpourri of different dance styles, such as African, Latin, Middle Eastern, hip hop, and more. Plus, it's a whole lot of fun, y'all. Okay, this is a special feature for anyone who eats it. I'm going to break down the steps no music, nothing but you and your own personal rhythm. So you can figure out what the sets are or what the hip poses are. This is not the routine yet. We're working up the routine, but we're going to break down the hip poses first. This is what I call the uh, rock the boat, going side to side, right, left, and right, and left. But you're just really putting your hips into it. The knees are bent, the abs are really tight. We're just rocking that boat from side to side. Rock the boat, so we tip the boat over. Now, this is what I call the African hip culture. Go front and back. You've seen a lot of videos, right? Here you have. We do double time, like this. And we do triple time. But, 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 you've seen that a lot too. Moving on to the Middle Eastern step. Those first two steps were African. This is Middle Eastern called the figure eights, where you're going side to side, creating a figure eight with your hips, so you're actually hitting those corners and you're circling around. The corner circle around, and then the next corner circle around, back, you're getting front, back, circle around, front, back, circle around, figure eights. Pretty simple, yeah? This is what I call a hip, hip, hip step. Hip, hip, hip. Normally how it's done a lot of the time, the loose and wise, they thrust their hand on your chin like this, which goes side to side. Very fun step. Hip, 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 hip. So you really see the buttocks go side to side. Yes, you got that? Good. We'll move on to our merengue. This is called merengue, so you right and left. Just going side to side. A very cool, sort of relaxed step. You can do it fast, and you can, or you can do it slow. Shifting your weight side to side, just like that. Yes. Um, then our next step is called a hip together, together, step touch, you're really leading, getting forward with that hip, step, I call this step touch, hip together, step touch, hip together, just like that, there you go, simple, hip together, you can bring your own rhythm when you're doing this, you can do these a la carte by themselves, or you can put them all together, just like I'm doing. Yes. Now the next step is called around the world. So your hips are gonna go all the way around, around to, we're gonna hit all four corners, so you're gonna open the legs out like this. Out, 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 then the legs go in, in, in. So you go around the world, hitting the corners. Out, 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 in, in, in. You guys have seen this step before. You're kind of gyrating your hips. You used to call it a butterfly, like that. Yes, yes, uh-huh, you've seen that. So, these are basically the steps of uh, the hip pulses that we're gonna do. And you're gonna see little uh, versions of that in the routine once we put it all together. So it's best to make sure that you practice part one, two and put them all together before we get into our routine which is going to be fun and exciting but it really really goes pumps so you get a really beautiful workout